everyone, it's Rose and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video. So this video is going to be a reading vlog. I think I'm going to do it over five days, but it might end up being a week. I'm not too sure right now. But every day we are going to spin the random number generator and it's going to tell me how many pages I have to read for that day. I'm going to be very ambitious because... I like to make myself suffer for these challenges and we're putting the number generator anywhere between 100 and 500 pages. I'm super nervous but I am super excited because I want to get a lot of reading done this week. I am going to be mood reading this week. I feel like there's no way I'm going to be able to read such high numbers if I'm trying to stick to my TBR so I'm just going to read whatever I'm in the mood for. Um, and we are going to spin for the first day today. We're actually going to be starting this challenge tomorrow because it's the evening and at midnight when it rolls over to day one, we're going to start the challenge. Let's spin the number generator from between 1 and 100 and 500. Okay, so we got 450. Okay, um, well, it's a good job that I've decided to get a head start and start at midnight. I don't know what book I want to read. Let me look through my TBR and I'll let you know. Maybe I can find one that's exactly 450 pages and we can read a whole book. So I had a look through my shelves and I think the first book I'm going to be reading is Cinder by Marissa Meyer. This is the first book in the Lunar Chronicles series, which is, I think it's fairy tale retellings with like sci-fi twists. So this one is Cinderella, if you can tell. But, um, I'm pretty sure she's half cyborg. That's what it sounds like. Um, it sounds so fun. I will say it's only three, eight, seven pages. It won't be the only book I'll be reading tomorrow, but I wanna get this one finished. And then I have the whole series. So if I enjoy this one, we can maybe read the whole series throughout this video. Who knows? But I will see you when it hits midnight and we can start day one of this challenge. Okay, it's gone midnight, which means it's officially day one of this challenge. Let's get started with Cinder by Marissa Meyer. Last night I read till about 2am and I've been reading for a couple of hours now. I am about, I'm over halfway actually, I'm on page 247 of Cinder. This book is so good, I'm loving it so so much. And like I said, it's 9am and we are over halfway through the pages for today already, which is great. Um, I'm gonna listen to the audiobook while I run some errands. I think I only have like a couple hours left and then I'll be done with this book. It is so good and I cannot wait for the other ones. I'm so excited, I'm guessing. I think I know what winter's gonna be about. But like I haven't read any of the blurbs, so I don't know. Um, but so far this book is super, super good. And we have about 200 pages left for today's numbers so i'm gonna get finished with cinder and talk to you when i'm done just finished cinder by marissa meyer this book was so good if you don't know already about this series it's huge so i'm sure you do but this is the lunar chronicles series by marissa meyer they are fairy tale retellings with like sci-fi twists cyborgs there is a plague and there are lunar people who live on the moon the this book was so good it was crazy um and i loved it i'm gonna rate it four stars i've now read 387 pages today i read this whole book which means we have 63 more pages to read before we've hit that 450 goal today i'm going to pick up book two in the lunar chronicles series which is called scarlet i'm going to read 63 pages of this book <laughs> wallpaper anyway i hit page 63 of scarlet by marissa my which means i've officially read all 450 pages which thank god honestly i literally started this at midnight to get them done i'm enjoying this so far but i'm obviously like just over 10 percent of the way through so i'm not going to give you any thoughts 
and I am loving this series a lot. I am enjoying it however, I've read over a whole book today. 450 pages is a lot of reading. So I am done with reading for the day. We're going to spin the wheel and see how much we need to read tomorrow. Um, because I want to listen to an audiobook while I walk back over to my godmother's to look after the cat. And obviously I can't listen if I don't know how long I need to listen for. So let's spin for tomorrow. Oh my goodness, it's only 101. Okay, tomorrow is an easy day. I'll probably actually end up reading more than that. So tomorrow we need to read 101 pages, which if I read more of Scarlet, which I think I'm gonna, gets me to 164. lighting is a bit random but there's been a little change of plans um i am really enjoying scarlet from what i read yesterday but i was listening to it and my phone's about to die and i don't have a charger here so uh, i'm not gonna read that today i'll probably end up carrying on with that for tomorrow's pages but for today i'm just gonna read um the prequel novella to Zodiac Academy, Origins of an Academy Bully, because I want to get back into the Zodiac Academy world, so I thought I'd read a little the prequel. I think this is like my third time reading the prequel. It's just so short, and I feel like it will get me back in the mood to carry on with that series. So that is what I'm going to do, because this is, I think it's like 100, it's 127 pages, so I read this, and I've done my reading for the day. With this lighting... This lighting is not great, but it's only going to be a short clip, so we're going to work for it. Um, I just finished Origins of an Academy Belly. Um, I rated it four stars. I think I've rated it four stars every time I've read it. It's a fun read. It's a good introduction to the world, and I think it sets up the world really well. Um, apparently, just getting the cat's dinner ready. Then I thought we would spin now, ready for tomorrow, because I feel like this is going to be another night where... I'm not tired when it's midnight because I kept falling asleep earlier. So I feel like I've got too much energy. So if we spin now, then at midnight I can start. Let's spin for day three. Ooh, okay, 318. That's almost like the middle of what we could have gotten. So that's great. We'll be almost finished with this book. So maybe my goal for tomorrow should be to finish Scarlet. Um, I'll work out the exact pages in a minute. And I'll let you know what page I need to read to. Okay, I did leave my camera here. So it is the next morning. I just got here. Where's the cat? There she is. She's waiting for food. So I'm going to feed her. I think I read like 60 pages on my walk over and like getting ready in the morning I had the audiobook on um my book's in my bag right now so I don't know exactly but um she's getting quite impatient so I'm gonna feed her and then I'm gonna carry on with my reading and I'll update you at some point later <laughs> so I'm on page 186 of Scarlet which means I've read a hundred and 23 pages today that sounds about right so i've got just under 200 to go i'm really enjoying this one however because they're all in the same world well the two that i've read so far i assume they're all in the same world cinder and kai's story is carrying on in this one and i will say i'm enjoying kai's point of view and cinder's point of view more than scarlet's and this book is supposed to be about scarlet so although i am enjoying her points of view. I don't think this book is gonna get as high of a rating as Cinder, purely because of that, but it's still really good. I'm still really enjoying it. So I like how Cinder was a Cinderella retelling and this one is a Red Riding Hood retelling. Scarlet's grandma has gone missing. Her death's been ruled, like either she's run away or they just think she's crazy and they're not looking into it. So she's taking it into her own hands and she entrusts the help of Wolf, who obviously, Red Riding is a literal wolf, but in this one, he's a person um, who was an ex-member of a gang of wolves who she thinks kidnapped her grandmother. 
So they're working together to try and figure that out. It's set in France. Um, it's good. I am still liking Cinder's story more though. Uh, so obviously I'm only halfway, but if I had to rate it right now, it'd probably be 3.5 and Cinder was a four, but I have over half the book to still read. So my mind could be changed. The awkward lighting is back. And I have finished Scarlet by Marissa Meyer. I'm going to rate this book 3.5 stars. Once it got good, it got really good. But I didn't like it as much as I liked Cinder, which I rated 4 stars. So I feel like 3.5 stars does make sense. So today, that means I read 389 pages. And my goal was only 318. So I did good. I overachieved the goal. So as usual, we're gonna pick tomorrow's pages early so I can get started on my walk back over here tomorrow. I think the book I'm gonna read is the third book in the Luna Chronicles series, Cress. This is a Rapunzel retelling, I'm pretty sure. Um, following, I'm pretty sure we've already met her in the first book. So I'm super excited. Tomorrow for day four. Oh my goodness, that's an easy number, one, two, one. Okay, that is all we need to read. So I'm pretty sure tomorrow is gonna be a success and I'm gonna read more than that. But I will talk to you when I get back here tomorrow because I will have listened to some of it on my walkover. So I'll have first thoughts on Chris. So it's now day four. It's actually the evening of day four. I haven't had a chance to update you guys already read all the pages for the day so we had one two one pages to read today i hit that i went past that i got to page 168 of cress by marissa meyer this book is so good it's so fun so in this one it's a rapunzel retelling but instead of being locked in a tower by her evil kidnapper um she's been stuck in like a space shuttle if that's the right word it's orbiting the earth um by her mistress it's really good she's trying to escape she's trying to see the real world she is a shell which is someone from luna that doesn't have powers i'm pretty sure um it's really good i'm not gonna have a chance to read anything else today so i'm sorry this has been the only update but we did complete our pages and the reason i'm not updating today is because tomorrow is day five and i'm gonna stay over here that's why i'm looking like this right now i'm gonna go to sleep like now and then i'm gonna wake up at midnight because for the last day i thought to make it up to you guys for not updating you today we're gonna up the pages and we're gonna do a minimum of 200 and a max of 700 which if we get on the higher end of that is gonna be really difficult so you can probably hear they cat me out so i'm gonna hit finish with sorting her food out and then we will do the random number generator i'll wake up at midnight i'll probably like get up at midnight shower get some reading in go back to bed kitty is happy and fed so let's spin it's not spinning because it's not a wheel let's pick the random number so it's between 200 and 700 I'm super nervous. I kind of hope I get a high number actually. Okay, that's very high. 637 pages. And we're definitely gonna be finishing Crest today and then we're gonna get a good chunk of winter because I, I wanna carry on with the series, obviously. But there's also, there's a novella that I'm going to listen to, but I don't know how many pages it is, so I don't want to count it. You know what? Let's just focus on finishing the first book first. This is my setup right now. You can't see it, but the cat is under that blanket. <laughs> she wanted to be near me, but I guess I was moving around too much for her to come sit on my lap. Um, I'm reading Cress. I am on page 230. I know that says 231, but I'm on that page. So I've read like, I, I'm not doing math right now. I think 70 something pages, but if I'm wrong, listen, I'm tired. Okay. I'm just gonna literally sit here 
Read the second half. Hopefully the cat comes out of her den soon. So I can have a cup. I don't know how on track I am to read over 600 pages today. I'm definitely gonna finish this book. But I am kind of thinking instead of starting winter in this vlog, I might start a book on my Kindle. Um, because I can read a Kindle quicker than I can listen to audiobooks. And I am reading, well, I'm not reading, I actually just started a little bit ago. Uh, this book by Frieda McFadden, but I don't know if I can say the name of it on YouTube. Um, but Frieda McFadden's books are really good and really fast paced. This is one of the only ones I haven't read, mainly because of the title. But I have a feeling I could read the remaining. I think it's like two, eight, two pages. I think I could read that in like a couple hours with this book. So maybe once I'm done with Cress, I will read this. I'm back here for the final stretch of this video. I'm almost done with Cress. Really enjoying it. I've also just started, oh, I was gonna show it to you, but my Kindle is not displaying it. Hang on. Also 50 pages into this book. Um, so I'm going to tell you the premise of it because the name is obviously leaves some questions. So it's basically about this woman who's in doctor school. I don't know what it's called. Um, medical school. There we go. Oh my God. Um, and there's, it's nicknamed what the title of the book is because, um, once a year, every year there's always one student who the pressure gets too much for them and they end up taking their life. But there's been one student every year for six years and six years ago there was a new professor that joined. So there's kind of like rumors going around like, oh, maybe they're not doing it to themselves. Maybe he's killing them. Um, so I'm sure you can tell the trigger warnings from that book. As always with a Freedom McFadden book, it's very fast paced which is why I'm using it for this video because I'm about to go finish Cress and then I just want to sit and like read for a couple hours and be done for the day because um, don't get me wrong I'm enjoying what I'm reading but reading over 600 pages in one day is a lot so I'm just I'll let you know what I end up writing Cress I'm gonna go finish it now I'm done I, I don't know how I managed to read so much today what was it 623? It was 634 pages and I managed to read that all in one day, which is absolutely crazy. So I finished Cress by Marissa Meyer, which means I read 382 pages of this one today. I think I'm going to rate this one 3.5 stars as well. I really enjoyed it, but it didn't top Cinder, the first book. Um, and then I just thought, you know what, I'll just read a little bit more of Suicide Med and then I'll update you. And... As always with Freedom McFad and I ended up reading all the pages I was supposed to, which was 282 pages. So I'm about halfway through now. I'm not going to tell you anything about it because the best way to read Freedom McFadden's books is to know absolutely nothing about them other than the trigger warnings. Um, so please do check them. A lot of times people ask where you actually get trigger warnings and Storygraph gives an option for people who review books to put all the content warnings on there. So check Storygraph. They always have them for every book that anyone's ever reviewed basically um so this video is now over i've been filming this for five days i managed to finish three full-length books one novella and then we got halfway through another book on my kindle which i think is super good for five days i just i had so much fun doing this a super fun time read some amazing books and i found a new series i'm obsessed with and we'll be finishing it in January. Look out for the monthly wrap up if you want to see my overall thoughts on the series, like how the fourth book goes. But that's everything for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed and would like to see more from me because I post new videos every single week. I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you in another video. Bye!